We're here in Boston at the Harvard Medical School Department of Cell Biology with Dr. Stephen Giggy. So Steve, tell us about the work going on here in the lab. Over the years, we've been using um, Thermo Fisher instruments, and we've been fortunate enough to, to, to utilize all of these in different ways and, and to really push forward the, the cutting edge of where you can, what you can do you know, with, with protein analysis these days. So how have the advances in mass spectrometry allowed you to do things today that you just couldn't do a few years ago? In this room, for example, there are three mass spectrometers. All three of these are what you would call Orbitrap mass spectrometers. And, but one of these is the newer version of the, of the Orbitrap mass spectrometer called the Velos Orbitrap mass spectrometer. What's special about that is, on top of other changes, there's a 2x increase in the uh, speed at which it acquires data. And just that alone has really revolutionized the way that we look at, at how we use these instruments because one instrument really takes the place of two instruments now. The instruments are so much better that they allow us to collect that same data in one or two days even. So over the last couple of years, there's been really a, a paradigm shift in the way that we analyze our samples from trying to perform what we call exhaustive proteomics, which is where we take one sample and we analyze it dozens or even hundreds of times in order to get as much as we can out of that sample. Nowadays, in less than a week, turn around results for, for investigators, uh, you know, critical results at, at a depth that we never could do before. And also in the lab, we're able to perform really almost for the first time what we call comprehensive uh, analyses. We're trying to analyze many thousands of proteins, if not, you know, shooting for more than 10,000 proteins that we can identify, perhaps from a single sample for the investigator. So these are really kind of new and heady times for us. Want to see more? Check us out on thermoscientific.com. And thanks for watching another progress report on our world tour of innovation.